The world was gripped by the dramatic recovery of a container ship that became lodged in the Suez Canal, the transit for about 15% of global shipping traffic. The Ever Given was stuck on the channel for almost a week, causing a huge build-up of vessels around the waterway. Refloating the Ever Given was a monumental challenge, and it all came down to physics, says Peter Badowski, the CEO of Pascalis. Pascalis owns the Dutch firm Smit Salvage, which assisted in dislodging the ship. It's all about physics, and, uh, and most uh, physical laws are not uh, that difficult, you could say. But uh, the trick is to make them work for you and not against you, and that's what we did. The 430-yard-long ship was jammed diagonally across the southernmost stretch of the canal. At least eight tugboats were used to push and pull it away from the banks with the help of the ship's own winches. Diggers cleared earth at the ship's bow and two dredgers were deployed. Dredging sand surrounding the vessel only had a minor impact. Sources said ballast water, which is used to help stabilise ships, was offloaded too amid efforts to refloat the ship. We had a plan B. Uh, involving uh, water injection under the vessel, uh, because with the digger, uh, yeah, you, you can you can scrap a little bit of uh, soil around uh, the vessel, but not under the vessel. Uh, the same holds for the cutter dredger they used. Uh, so again, you you dig some some soil away beside the the vessel, but not under. So what we more or less did is we used the water power that was in the canal with the returning tide push the vessel where we were pulling it. And the combination of the two, as we hoped, at the end of the day did the trick. Smith Salvage has been involved in high-profile rescues before. It assisted with the Costa Concordia disaster in 2012 and raised the car carrier Baltic Ice in 2015 after it sank near the port of Rotterdam. Location in this instance was a major factor. It took nearly a week to loosen the vessel. The delay was down to waiting for two tow vessels that were heavy enough, rare in the region, to reach the site. The, the most important uh, characteristics of the environment is, is that it's in, it's, it's in relative isolation. Like if something like this happens at the port of Antwerp or the port of Rotterdam, uh, where we've done these jobs, uh, you have vessels just around the corner. You have crane vessels even around uh, the corner. Uh, there are so many uh, possibilities you can use, so you can optimize plan uh, A, B, C, D, uh, uh, up until uh, Z, uh, so to speak. So um, the difficulty is you're, you're really yeah, in the middle of nowhere, stuck with a vessel uh, and no equipment uh, nearby. So that, that's the big challenge, really.